This is the Grush toothbrush that we're going to show you. This is uh, created by Yongjing Wang from Grush, who's here with us now, just to explain how it all works. It's quite a, quite a simple idea, isn't it? But, yeah. it, but it, it's quite effective. Just explain to us what it is and how it works. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, the grass is sort of a gaming toothbrush. Basically, uh, we put a motion sensor inside the toothbrush, and when kids are, are brushing their teeth, we can detect the, exactly the position, angle, and the force. So, so we, just to remind you, this connects to your smartphone? Yeah. Right. Yeah, you know, so all, all this data uh, transferred to the phone, and in, in the phone side, we have a game there, so so the game actually use those data to uh, reconfigure re re a game for the kids. Basically, we transform the brushing into a fun game kids. Kids are brushing their teeth. In the meantime, they are also playing a fun and yeah. in interactive game there. Well, give us a, let's have a look at how it works. We're not going to use real teeth. We've got some fake teeth here for you. Okay. Give, us, give us a demo how it works. Okay, okay. let me... Let's, so this connects, to, it takes a couple of seconds to connect yeah, to the toothbrush, yeah, yeah. right. And it uses Bluetooth? Yeah, you know, so it's Bluetooth connected. And then as it connects, it's obviously searching for the... Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that we have some room here. Let me close. Don't worry, folks, this is live TV. Things always tend to go wrong. If you saw the Faraday Future uh, unveiling of their FF91 car, you'll know what I mean. Uh, the, uh, the boss was on stage trying to park the car and the car didn't want to move. But we're just going to refire this app. But basically what it's doing is the phone is going to connect with this toothbrush. It's going to use Bluetooth to try to get in touch with the toothbrush. And then these motion sensors will kick in. They'll work out that the child is holding the brush. They'll work out that the child is using the brush. And then this game kind of follows the user's motion around. So as the user moves their brush around, the game follows. I think we've got a low battery warning there. Yeah, I never see. mind. I mean, let's we'll talk to talk to us about the idea behind it. Why did you create it? Okay. Uh, yes, I, I invented this technology for my son when my son is five years old. In that time, he has uh, uh, he had the tooth decay. We we finally we have to replace five five teeth for him. I think this is. Uh, uh, almost a funny story because right now people can send the people to the moon but uh, we cannot solve a single problem in our uh, in our in our uh, space room uh, so i invented this technology yeah. for my son and uh, right now he he is 13 years old, so that's five, uh, yeah, you know, that's... So he's a bit beyond the, beyond the yeah, stage now. Yeah. One of the things I noticed, though, is, I mean, I've got, I've got a six-year-old son, and he brushes his teeth, but he tends to brush the front, uh -huh. whereas this actually encourages you to go all the way around, and it follows you, it, it kind of gives you points. Yeah, uh, yeah, true. You know, so we have the dentist in our group. Actually, the monster will sew up on the different surface of the different teeth, that's including the, the front teeth and the back teeth. So the kids have to brush all the teeth, all the surface of all the teeth according to the dentist requirement. So, so only if they do this, they can kill the monster and they get the points. Great. Well, I noticed on the box it says here, uh, designed in America, assembled in China. So you have you have a relationship with China. Is this product made? It's made in China, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, uh, so, uh, so our company is in the Bay Area. This pro product was designed in Bay Area, but uh, uh, so our uh, manufacturers uh, in China. Okay, Yong Jing Wang, thank you very much for coming to show us the toothbrush.